FSN Radio. It's all about what's next. Go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com and sign up for your free weekly newsletter. You'll also get three free reports. The Financial Survival Network. It's all about what's next. Welcome. You are listening to the Financial Survival Network. I'm Kerry Lutz. It's June 14th, 2017. Hope you were watching the hearings. Person you're about to hear from, his name came up in the uh, Russia Gate hearings uh, when Session was testifying before the Senate yesterday. I'm talking about uh, David Horowitz, you know him well. Uh, formerly one of the founders of the New Left in the '60s, written numerous books. His latest book is Big Agenda: Trump's Plan to Save America. Hey, David, welcome back to the show. Well, thank you. Hey, so Sessions is being grilled by, I believe it was Senator uh, Wyden from, where is he from? Oregon, I think. And he's berating him for taking these awards and not mentioning it on his disclosure form. And one of the uh, awards that he brought up, of course, was yours. And like Sessions looking at him incredulously because it's like, how many awards do you get when you're a senator? Everybody's giving you an award. I, I can't even fill out, begin to start remembering every award that I've gotten. And and if I did get one from David Horowitz, what's the big deal? So so you get dragged into this, David. Yeah, I mean, the Democrats, uh, it's a party of hate. They're witch hunters and they're character assassins. That's what they do. The attacks on Sessions are particularly unconscionable. I mean, they call a guy and prosecuted the Ku Klux Klan and desegregated Alabama schools. They call him a racist um, with, with no basis, in fact. Um, uh, or the basis is that he represented three voters who were defrauded by three corrupt officials of the NAACP. It just happens that the voters that Sessions was representing were black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, But that doesn't bother Schumer. It doesn't bother that witch from Massachusetts, Elizabeth Warren. These people, you know, look, we have a shooter today. He went out to shoot Republicans. He's a Bernie supporter. Geez, he must have been listening when the Democratic leadership, uh, I, I forget who the figures were, but prominent Democrats were accusing Republicans of uh, planning to kill a million children. Um, <laughs> through their health care reform, um, or, or even these CBO uh, figures, like 24 million people are going to be thrown out of health care, which is, these are lies, and, and they have consequences um, when you're that vicious. Yeah, I gave uh, Sessions Award. He's a wonderful human being, and uh, uh, I gave him, actually, it's an appropriate award, but Annie Taylor Award, Annie Taylor being the first woman to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel and survive. <laughs> um, but I also gave an award to Adrian Fenty, who was a liberal Democrat mayor of uh, Washington, D.C. And uh, the uh, filthy lie that I, I'm somehow anti-Muslim, I'm not anti-Muslim, yeah. Islam, hmm. you know, it's like, uh, but not every Muslim follows uh, the you know, destructive principles of the faith. After all, the Prophet Muhammad has called for the, in so many words, the extermination of the Jews, uh, mm -hmm. not repudiated by any prominent Muslim that I know. Um, so Islam is problematic and it treats women as chattel, it, uh, uh, gays can be killed, apostates can be killed, and so forth and so on. It's got a lot of problems. I mean, there are a lot of Catholics who don't, who, I forget what the figures are, but it's something like half of Catholics uh, use contraception, which is, you know, forbidden by the church doctrines. Mm -hmm. So it's very possible um, to uh, not be anti-Muslim, but to be critical of Islam. Yeah, well, and, thanks. you know, this comes from the Smear site, uh, um, the Southern Poverty Law Center site, uh, which is a disgusting site. That's um, a hate uh, uh, organization. You know, but there's no there's no recourse. Um, you know, for people they attack. But they, every Republican is, a, uh, is practicing hate speech, according to them, the chief the biggest hate site on the web. Yeah, it's a, it's a madness. I mean, the Southern Poverty Law Center, I guess 40 years ago, Martin Luther King Jr., the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. was associated with, and it actually was maybe somewhat relevant then, but uh, but no more, right? So I'm 
I missed that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, you know, the, right? I believe um, Martin Luther King Jr. was associated with it initially, but this is what it's morphed into as a hate organization. Oh, the Southern Bobby, it's a big scam. I mean, they, yeah. they're, you know, they, they're worth $300 million or something, some, mm-hmm. because they exploit people's concerns about the Ku Klux Klan and yeah. use that brush to tar every conservative group as, as um, tantamount to the Ku Klux Klan. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you just go down the go down the road with this. And, uh, you know, what's the logical outcome of what it is they're espousing here? What do they really want here? Dude? Yeah, that people are going to get killed. That's the logical outcome. Is that what and they the want? Accused, they spent six months on the basis of not a shred of actual evidence accusing Republicans of being mm-hmm. traitors to the country, something that would be more appropriate if they looked in the mirror, considering their Democrat support for the Iran deal. Mm-hmm. which gave America's mortal enemy and the biggest, most um, influential terrorist state. I mean, the biggest, well, the biggest killer of Americans. The Iranians yeah. have killed thousands of Americans. In other words, manufactured the IEDs. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but Obama, you know, built his foreign policy and uh, allowed spies to go free, bribed them mm-hmm. uh, as part of the deal to give them nuclear weapons. Yeah. Obama is a traitor in the purest sense of the word, mm-hmm. but um, Republicans are too tongue-tied to say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, you know, uh, maybe it's time for them to start coming out and saying it. I mean, Sessions was was pretty outraged yesterday, wasn't he? Well, I think properly so. I mean, he's not a guy. Sorry about that. That's okay. We love dogs on I've FSN. Got to, <laughs> I've got to escape my chihuahuas. Um, he's not a guy who riles easily. No. But it is, it's outrageous to accuse him. I mean, it, it, was, it was a cocktail reception he was present at, and so was the Soviet ambassador people. He's supposed mm-hmm. to meet people. Yeah. That's what ambassadors <laughs> are for. Um, and out of it's this, um, you know, they in, insinuate that uh, Sessions is a traitor. That's basically what it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where did they get off with this here, David? I mean, this and is These are people madness. who candidate for President Hillary. Her yeah. foundation was part of a deal that gave Russia 20% of American uranium. Exactly. I mean, it's just, it, it's grotesque. And it's partly because Republicans are too polite to ever mention things like this. Doesn't it seem that way? Um, yeah, this has got to be. So my, you here. know, this book I've written, Big Agenda. I mean, it says you have to fight fire with fire. Um, yeah, and that's the key. The, 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 the Democrats' chief weapon against Republicans is to call every Republican a racist uh-huh. and every Republican policy racist. Right. But the Democratic Party actually is the racist party. It's the party of racial categories, of identity politics, that you judge people by the color of their skin, their ethnicity, their gender, everything. Uh, yeah. Um, Real projection. I was going to say that you can't, can't change, but every piece of your origin mm-hmm. they judge you by. It's very anti American and it's quite mm-hmm. racist. Yeah. Uh, and they control every inner city of any size in America, every killing field mm-hmm. Chicago, Detroit, yeah. uh, Ferguson, St. Louis, Baltimore. Well, 100% controlled by the Democratic Party and have been for 50 to 100 years. Every injustice in the inner city, every oppression, everything that's wrong, that mm-hmm. policy can affect, Democrats are 100% responsible for. Yes. And Republicans are too polite mm-hmm. to mention. Absolutely. Yeah, well, so when's their politeness going to end here, David? Is it? Are they going to get smart when, one of these when, days? When Republicans get... Get, get mouths on them like Trump. That's why I supported Trump. Mm-hmm. Look Hillary in the eye in front of 50 million people in one of those debates and say, you are a liar and a crook. Yeah. But she is both. But there isn't another Republican in the, the country who would say that. Yes. Yeah, well, and, and, then, uh, and then, you know, he's got these treasonous Republicans who are really uh, not, uh, not stepping up to the plate, right? Yeah, they want to be like. Yeah, well, get a dog, dog, right? Get a dog if you're in Washington, if you want a friend. <laughs> Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Yeah. 
That's what I thought. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, there's got to be a way to resolve this, doesn't there? Well, you resolve it at the ballot box. Yeah, well. People better come out and support Trump. Yeah. You and then they better vote in 2018 for Republicans. You sure would hope, but, you know, like, uh, well, Trump's base is sticking by him, though. While the, uh, while the country club establishment Republicans doing their best to undermine him. Uh, well, you know, I think there's, uh, there's always this law of unintended consequences. And the Democrats, vicious, un-American, extremist attacks on Republicans, unhinged, yes. um, are driving... Um, Trump doubters, skeptics, and opponent into the Trump camp. I mean, mm -hmm. um, McCain was really upset yesterday over the treatment of, of Sessions. Really? He was upset? Out, That's a first. Trump. That's a first. I didn't think uh, he got upset any time. Well, I'm telling you, I mean, the That's Democrats, amazing. you know, they treat, they, they've gone so far over the top that they're going to drive people into the Trump camp. Do you think it's going to happen, really? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Huh. No kidding. Yeah, I'm talking about Republicans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. Well, you know, uh, wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> Would not be the worst thing, right? So, yep. so God, it's, it's, you just got to wonder, do you think they understand that they've overplayed their hand yet? Or are they just going to keep going until they're totally repudiated? Well, I think they're marching off the cliff. Yeah, they're like lemmings, right? Aren't they? Yep. So yep. they're really like lemmings, and I think you're right. They're they're marching off the cliff, and <laughs> you just can't believe that uh, that they can be, you know, be this uh, idiotic, right? I mean, how can it be? Well, I like it. <laughs> I guess you believe anything at this point, right, David? I mean, would you have believed? Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't take past them. Yeah. I just uh, am shocked that uh, that they really they really believe that uh, that this is the right move and that this is a way this is the way ahead. I'm just shocked. I really am. Um, I mean, this is the party of John F. Kennedy, right? No, mm. <laughs> yeah. not the party of John F. Kennedy anymore. It hasn't been for about thirty years. Yeah, I guess not. Well, it once was. I guess is what I'm saying, right? That's a little to put it. Yeah. So, so anyway, so, so what do we do about it here? I mean, what should we do as somebody who cares? Get after it. And the biggest problem with the right is that we symbolize and really yeah. find politics to do. Yeah. But the country is now at stake at risk. Yeah, it really so I is. Think everybody has to get out there and fight it anymore. Uh huh. Yeah, well, it's it's time, isn't it? It's definitely time. That it is. Yeah. So, hey. So, uh, anyways, where's the best place to find the your your frequent articles, David? Uh, frontpagemagazine.com is my my main site. Frontpagemagazine.com. Okay, frontpagemag.com, and uh, we always uh, enjoy uh, your work. And uh, it's always great having you on. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Keep up the great work, David. Thanks so much. FSN Radio. It's all about what's next. Go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com and sign up for your free weekly newsletter. You'll also get three free reports. The Financial Survival Network. It's all about what's next.